Today is going to be a video response to Liz's take a minute for today because she asks about the five love languages and I've never actually gone through and taken the quiz so I'm going to do that now and see what I get. You get to sit there while I go through it. It's more meaningful to me when somebody I love sends me a loving note, text, or email for no special reason or I hug someone I love. I think I'd prefer hugs. It's more meaningful when I can spend alone time with someone or they do something practical to help me out. It's more meaningful when someone I love gives me a gift as a token or uninterrupted leisure time. I don't need stuff. It's more meaningful when they do something unexpected for me to help with a project or can share an innocent touch. That's more readily accessible, but that's not what it's asking. I need help more and get help less. That's still not what it's asking. I think that does actually make it more meaningful, even though that's contextual. Someone I love puts their arm around me in public or surprises me with a gift. Why would I want someone's arm around me in public? I mean, if we're sitting, that's the only time when it wouldn't be awkward and disruptive to moving. It's too impractical for me to appreciate it, unless it's helping me because I need help walking. The context I put these questions in is not necessarily how they're intended, but I can't do much about that. I'm around someone I love even if we're not really doing anything, or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, or putting my arm around someone. So just kind of lazing around with somebody, or actually, you know, having physical contact involved. I'm fine with just chilling. I receive a gift or I hear from someone that they love me. Yeah, I'd rather hear it than be getting stuff. More meaningful when I sit close to someone or I'm complimented for no apparent reason. I would just be suspicious of that. So I guess cozy it is. I get the chance to just hang out or unexpectedly get stuff. Hang out. Hear I'm proud of you or help me with a task. I don't need you to be proud of me. I, I, I could use help. I get to do things with someone I love or I hear supportive word of stuff. More meaningful when someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. Or I hug. Hmm. I like hugs, but that's just another nice thing for me instead of talking about it. Again, that's a hugs are readily available for me and actually nice things are not so nice things. I hear praise from someone I love or someone I love gives me something that shows me they were really thinking about me. Praise for what? Either of these are... I can't relate to either of these options. I'm not sure I've had either happen. I guess I'll go for the thing rather than the words for this. I'm not big on either. I'm able to just be around someone I love or I get a back rub. I don't think just around for that. Someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished or, or does something for me that I know they don't particularly enjoy. It still falls down on I don't need praise for stuff, but I do need help for stuff. I mean, I'm halfway through it and it's already pretty clear which ways I lean, but I'm able to be in close physical proximity, or I sense someone I love is showing interest in the things I care about. 
I don't get to spend a whole lot of time with the people I care about, and we have a lot of shared interests already, so I'm not necessarily as concerned about that. So, someone I love works on special projects with me that I have to complete, or gives me an exciting gift. Stop. Help. I'm complimented on my... No. I'm complimented on my appearance. I'm suspicious of that. Takes the time to listen to me and understand my feelings that I actually need. Can share a meaningful touch in public. Or offers to run errands for me. Oh. My back would thank you so much for that. Being disabled and having chronic pain may be severely distorting how both how I interpret and how I answer these questions. Does something special to help me out? I get a gift? No. Someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking. The people I spend time with don't check their phone anyway. This doesn't apply goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. The people that I spend time with would only be doing it if it were necessary, so that wouldn't be relevant. The, the, I don't have context for that. That's just not something I deal with. So, oh look, another D. Look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift. I hear the words, I appreciate you. I don't actually hear that often. I do get some interesting gifts. I guess I could stand to hear the stuff more. Someone I haven't seen in a while thinks enough of me to give me a gift. <sighs> it takes care of something I'm responsible to do that I feel too strict to do with the t Oh, look. Deeds versus presents. Yeah, that that's not really a decision. More meaningful when someone I love doesn't interrupt me when I'm talking. <laughs> Oh, gift getting. It's more meaningful when someone helps me out when they know I'm already tired. I get to go somewhere while spending time with someone. I mean, I don't go anywhere, though. I'll end up feeling guilty if we go somewhere, because I can't afford to go anywhere. So unless they can, that's just not going to happen. And I always need help with stuff, because I'm always tired. These questions are aimed for people that are probably able-bodied and not shut-ins. I mean, it would be nice to actually do stuff. Touches my arm or shoulder to show their care or concern. Gives me a gift. Says something encouraging. Get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby. <laughs> Stupid words are gaming. not a choice. Surprise me with a token of their appreciation or touching someone to express our friendship. Presents or hugs. Hmm. Hugs. Someone I love helps me out. I hear someone tell me they appreciate me. Help. It's more meaningful when I get a hug from someone I haven't seen in a while. I hear someone tell me how much I mean them. Hug. So A is words of affirmation. B is quality time. C is receiving gifts. D is acts of service. E is physical touch. So the top for, of this for me is acts of service with 11 out of 30. Then quality time with 9 out of 30, physical touch with 6 out of 30, and then words of affirmation and receiving gifts are tied at the bottom with 2 each. So, those are my love languages. Acts of service, mostly because I'm disabled and need help with everything, and quality time, because yeah, I would actually like to spend time with the people I care about. Not that it happens a whole lot. So, we'll see how this edits down. And I will talk to you again. Tomorrow's the last day of the month.